Hey everybody, John Broman here, proud servant in the Front Row family. I'm both the executive director for Front Row Foundation and I do speaking, writing, and coaching about living life in the front row. I'm here to share a thought with you today about silence, space, and spirituality. You know, last year, 2014, this was my theme for the entire year. I wanted to create enough silence in my life that I could hear the messages that might be whispering to me that oftentimes in our lives we have so much noise that we don't hear them. So I focused on meditation. I focused on being mindful in my daily practice so that I could hear the messages that were, that were trying to speak to me and I might be pushing down or ignoring because I was so busy doing the next to do. The silence that I created in my life last year made a huge impact, I can notice this year already, in the momentum that I've gained with new projects and new focus based on the fact that I listened to my heart and soul about what I wanted to create with others. The second idea is to create some space in your life. So many times we think about how we can move from one activity to the next. We pack our days with lots of stuff. And I don't think that's bad to be fully living and experiencing as much as you can. But sometimes creating a little space for yourself um, is critical. You know, rather than moving from one activity to the next, oftentimes I'll create 10 minutes of buffer time to just do a little exercising, go outside and take a walk, spend a few minutes with my family, get a drink of water, but giving myself little breaks throughout the day, sometimes extended breaks, some, some bigger blocks of space in your life are critical to be able to allow for creativity and spontaneity to show up for you. And the third element is spirituality. I'll never forget my dad had said to me years ago that he said, John, when you connect spiritually, you know, here, you'll figure out so much more about your life. And at the time I didn't get it, but you know, over the past year and a half, I've been exploring what does spirituality mean to me? And I'm not talking about religion by itself. I'm talking about the spirit that we all have within us and being in tune with that. What is it saying to you? Getting to know your spirit. My thought for you today is this. Take your calendar and create some time, some space for yourself to experience silence in which spirituality will start to arise from that. Surround yourself and connect with amazing people that are good in this area at creating silence, space, and spirituality within their lives. And think about it in an ideal situation, 12 months from now, if everything were exactly as you'd want it to be, if you could wave a magic wand and design your life instantly, that it would be this way, what would it look like? How much silence, space, or spirituality would you have? And then play with that a little bit. What happens if you double it? You know, what's the worst that could happen? What's the best that could happen? Play with this idea and let me know your thoughts about what happens as a result one week from today. Give it a seven day commitment right now that in the next seven days you'll create intentional space, intentional silence so that you can connect spiritually. Try to define what those mean to you. Ask others what it means to them. And I believe that in order to live a front row life, you need to be present with people on purpose for the planet. And silence, space, and spirituality will help you get there faster than maybe anything. Until next time, keep living life in the front row. And remember, no matter what seat you're given in life, you can always choose to have a front row experience. Take care.